Hi there, welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how to track HubSpot meeting conversion for Facebook Pixel. Like if you have a website like this and you want to track a successful booking appointment for Facebook Pixel and you want to run Facebook conversion campaign. So let's get started. First of all, I need to connect this website to Facebook Pixel and then I need to configure the conversion event for Facebook Pixel. And in this case, I will use Google Tag Manager because Google Tag Manager is the best and smart way to use conversion tracking. This is my Google Tag Manager container for this website. And this website already connected with this Google Tag Manager container. So if you don't have connected, then simply copy this link and input under the head tag of your website backend. So I hope you can do that so for this video i am going to open my website on the preview mode so i need to input this url here and connect it and then you can see my website is already open successfully connected so that means this website uh, gtm code under the back end of this website so let's connect it and book a dummy meeting here and i want to check i want to give a my name here and use any temporary mail here and you can see it's successfully requested and here you can see i got the successful meeting event for when someone booked a meeting successfully so that's why it's a successful event so ex you can see here is no thank you page it's just a website embedded uh, booking form so now copy this link actually it's a uh, event which is custom event and i want to make a trigger first because trigger is important to uh, set up facebook pixel but uh, for first of all I need to check this website is successfully connected to Facebook pixel or not for doing this uh, if uh, you can uh, see the extension here is not connected so that's mean uh, we need to connect Facebook basic pixel first so for doing this go to the event manager then you can see the here is the meta pixel connection some process but uh, you can ignore it because we are using google tag manager so settings and here is the pixel id we need this simple code here and go back to tag manager and go to tag and open new and just search on the community templates uh, which is facebook pixel so it's loading and just search Facebook and then you can see it's a Facebook pixel so I am going to add to my workspace and it's added and here is the place that I need to input this simple pixel code here and you can see a lot of uh, event here but I want to choose a page view event for fast and basic pixel setup and of course the trigger will be all page because it's just a basic pixel setup and after that uh, if I publish this version uh, or uh, so I am it's a published uh, version now and I want to reload this website through the TV mode again so then I see what actually the happening so I I expect this website is successfully connected with Facebook pixel and just to add here it is so now it's pixel is connected you can see our pixel code add and this code exact same so that means it's connected so uh, now our basic configuration is done so now it's time to set up the configuration for this conversion so for this i am going to book the appointment again 
so i am using that demi mail here and you can see it succeed so and here i am getting this unique event just copy this exact same name because it's very important uh, and go to tag manager and make a tag new face select facebook pixel and you need to input your facebook pixel code here but first of all i want to make tiger and tiger will be uh, copy the custom event and input this uh, event that you are getting from here just copy it and paste it and you also uh, paste it here for uh, getting identification and just that's it and now i need to input my pixel code here and you can select your uh, you can select uh, any uh, event from here so you can choose the submit application you can choose the complete registration uh, anyone you can choose from here also you can use the custom name here but for this video i want to choose complete registration or it's a lead so i'm going to choose lead because it's a lead event so and i don't want to send any parameter to facebook so that's why i i didn't uh, input any parameter here so i want to save it and you can see uh, it's a conversion so let's go to review again and go to test event uh, of course you need to publish this version because without publish the, it will not work so you can see it's on the preview mode and the test event if i input the website url here it will start working so like copy this and paste it here and if i open now you can see this website is opening and i'm not getting any event here for some reason but it will work sometime it's next time but not important let's uh, book our meeting and check the extension so here i'm request uh, sorry it's a disappointed uh, you can see here is no lead event and try again so if I go back and test again, you can see it's successful. And now you can see it's a lead event and the setup is manual. So that's it. And you will get this event on the event overview and the test event uh, when you check. But some reason it is not working here, but it will work when you submit the latest version of GA4 and GTM and you, you can also checking the extension showing the value and event so that's mean it's working if you don't have any experience to how to set up conversion tracking accurately you can contact me because I am a top rated freelancer on Upwork I am providing conversion tracking solution for my client so feel free to contact me that's it for today see you on the next video Till then, bye. Have a good day.